Pyroligneous acid, also called wood vinegar or wood acid, is a dark liquid produced by the destructive distillation of wood. Its benefits are known to be probiotic, insecticide, microorganism, and fertility benefits from as little as two tablespoons per liter of water. An affordable and sustainable way to power your home garden or community gardens. I had went to a friend's storage area and found a suitable tank and had the bottom welded out to give a better intake for the fire in the burn chamber. I tried this method as a variation on a practice I had learned in Luzon and among other Asian farmers I had seen as well. And also I wanted to support my findings on a theory I had in a drawing of one possible orientation of this possible and universally applicable method right. anywhere. In the what world. we're going to do next, after the wood, we're going to set this wood up, then we're going to put it in here. What's going to happen is we're going to have the fire going from under here to generate heat going in through the chamber. We're going to catch the condensation in the back. We're going to catch the condensation coming out and that's going to be our wood vinegar. We cut this from the trees and we're bringing it straight here. Now you're not going to be using um, eucalyptus or pine, things like that. Um, you're using any like sort of heartwood and um, for human consumption with the wood vinegar it has to be distilled for one, and for two, it also has to be, um, if it's being used for animals, it has to be a fruit bearing wood. So just so you guys know that, uh, this is a six month fermentation. So we are, this is very much um, a time consuming thing, but the cost cutting is down from hundreds of pesos or you know, 10, 20, $30 for batches of concoctions down to seven pesos per liter with this. And if you have trees on your land, you have a renewable source of um, wood vinegar, basically. Having set up the basic burn chamber, the chimney needs to be at least 14 feet long and sealed from the chamber all the way up. So there was a single direction for the smoke to go in. So I would get maximum condensation, thus making more vinegar. The seal is imperative because if the smoke goes away, you lose your base component to produce the vinegar. I use small and medium sized branches cut properly so that the moisture can evenly be drawn when the burning process is going on. So it makes more vinegar and more and better biochar as well. set out to find the most economic way to set up a homestead or possibly an industrial scale organic farm. But let's face it, I've always wanted to break poverty and now I have a viable way to do it. Imagine a way to sustain your food supply in an organic way and also make money at the same time. Now you get what we're thinking of doing. What's up guys? We're doing the wood vinegar here today. Um, basic setup, you guys saw some of the schematics and the setup going on. Um, what we're doing here is, is we're putting heat to the wood, but we're not directly putting the fire to it. So it's creating the biochar that you see here um, and as a byproduct, which is sellable and already a money maker. Um, then we've got the vinegar itself. We're collecting the condensation from the wood. So we give the smoke a far enough path to travel and to cool. Um, and we collect that vinegar and we let it sit for six months. It's a good compost inducer, uh, replaces microorganisms, IMO, the expensive stuff like that. Um, it's good for in, uh, insecticides. It's good for a lot of things for your plants, a good fertilizer. You have to ferment it six months. Keeping in mind that this is a sustainable method, be cognizant when pruning your trees and producing your wood vinegar according to the needs that you will have over a set period of time. This will ensure that your trees have time to grow back. As you're not destructively harvesting wood, you should take into account your six month ferment period for your next batch as well when producing. So what we're thinking here is what we can use, what we have on hand and how long things are going to take. We want to keep maximized care of the environment but also we want to produce as much vinegar and be practical and sustainable as we possibly can. 